Mastercard has expanded its crypto partnerships further, collaborating with Latin American crypto exchange Bitso to launch a debit card in Mexico. In the past, Mastercard has collaborated with Binance, Velo, and Bunebit in the region. The exchange issued the card to over 100,000 users who requested it. Furthermore, in November, Mexico enabled the card for customers to provide feedback. The debit card is now set to make its official debut in the country. Alternatively, the payment processing company is moving forward with one South American partnership. Following a successful progressive rollout, Mastercard and Latin American crypto exchange Bitco are launching a debit card in Mexico. Cryptocurrency exchange Binance is not planning any layoffs and is instead trying to fill another 500 roles by the end of June, according to a Binance spokesperson. The comments came despite a huge spike in crypto layoffs in January, the majority of which were from crypto exchanges. In a statement, the Binance representatives said, as of today, we are actively hiring for more than 500 roles with the goal of filling them by the end of H1. We are not planning any layoffs. Binance's job openings page had 463 listings at the time of writing, with positions in business development, communications, customer support and engineering to name a few. According to the spokesperson, the company has hired over 600 people since the beginning of 2023. OKX, a cryptocurrency exchange, has announced that it has taken action against five accounts involved in celestial market manipulation. The Celestial Metaverse project, which recently announced the creation of a new blockchain game, uses CELT as its native token. Celestial developers promoted the game on social media with the OKX brand, causing the price of CELT to skyrocket by nearly 200% before plummeting by more than 50% in the last 24 hours. OKX already froze 714,381 USDT held by the accounts and says the Celestial project agreed to return 1.3 million Tether. The Seychelles-based company says it will return the amount to affected users and is allocating an additional 1 million USDT for the reimbursements. That's all in this bulletin for now. Keep watching 3.2 TV.